Beginner Candle Making Tips First, always wipe down your jars with rubbing alcohol. This will help your wick stickers stick to the jars. To help center your wicks, trace the bottom of your jar at a center hole and cut it out so you always have a centered wick. Scales are a must. It's important to weigh your wax and fragrance oil. Stir in your fragrance oil for at least two minutes. I let my candles cure on aluminum foil. This helps regulate the wax temperature to avoid imperfections. Have fun! I have a hack for all candle makers. Here is a cookie, uh, I think it's called a spatula or anything. I use it to get wax off of my area. I just go like this and I'll show you guys what I mean. Here is some wax, I'm just gonna take it and scrape. Okay, so if you have a taller jar or you're just having a hard time getting your wick in place, just grab a straw and cut it down a little bit, or get a pen, take it apart, and use the tube part of the pen, and grab your wick with your wick sticker on it, and put it through the tube. Then you're going to want to grab the end of your wick, and put it in your jar, and press down firmly to make sure your wick sticker is in place. This makes it so much easier because you have so much more control.
Hey guys, I found a new gadget to help me pour candles. I'm obsessed with making sure my wigs are perfectly centered. So I have this little tool that I use and then to make sure they don't shift while I'm pouring, I use painter's tape on top of them. Recently, I found an Etsy seller who makes custom wig centering guides, which is great because most of those centering guides that are available are not for wooden wigs. So I sent her the measurements for my jars and the width of my wooden wick, and she sent me a pack of perfectly fitted wooden wick centering tools. I thought my painter's tape pack was pretty cool, but I have to admit that these are so much better.